complications of giant cell tumor. As any tumor, the main and the most important complication is a spread. A spread in giant cell tumor, which is benign or locally malignant, low aggressive tumors. If there is a spread, if there is spread, it will be direct spread only. But take care, in giant cell tumors there may be malignant giant cell tumor. In this case, lung. Spread to the lung may occur. Pathological fracture is common in giant cell tumor. Why? Pain is a late manifestation and the patient can use the limb and this patient may stand on his limb. There is no pain. And as you see, the bone is very weak and the cortex is very thin and they give thin features in on palpation which is egg shell crackling sensation if you stand on this egg shell crackling sensation tuck pathological fracture is common in giant cell tumor um, relation to malignancy giant cell tumor may be primary malignant giant cell tumor or after recurrence it is called secondary malignant giant cell tumor uh, this tumor usually locally malignant therefore no anemia cachexia or this but in malignant giant cell tumor there may be anemia cachexia and this uh, one of the main complications uh, of giant cell tumor is recurrence after incomplete excision and if recurrence it may turn to secondary malignant giant cell tumor what is the clinical picture of uh, giant cell tumor mainly is swelling and the swelling is the main and the earliest manifestation of giant cell tumor occur many months before pain uh, therefore the patient use the limb the limb is painless and the swelling is painless the patient can use the limb leading to complication as pathological fracture the swelling as any benign condition is well defined epiphyseal slowly growing hard in early cases but in late cases it gives the egg shell crackling sensation pain is a late manifestation and has the same feature we will know dull aching sewing increasing by night and moment the nearby joint may show sympathetic effusion and the picture of complication may be present as pathological fracture what is the investigation of a giant cell tumor? The very first investigation in any tumor is Billing X-ray. Billing X-ray shows a characteristic site. Epiphyseal, a swelling. Characteristic age, no epiphyseal cartridge. Therefore, this tumor in adult, as we know from 40 to 60 year, uh, around 40 years uh, from 20 to 40 the tumor produce bone expansion produce bone expansion and surrounded by a thin layer of cortex without infiltration of surrounding soft tissue to exclude sarcoma or malignant giant cell tumor the tumor is divided by bony or fibrous septa into unequal compartments 
leading to the appearance of soap bubble appearance. Um, there is operculum or medullary blank which separates the tumor from the medulla and we said before that absence of this medullary blank or operculum may show infiltration of this area by malignant transformation. Other investigations as any bone tumor, CT scan, MRI, um, radioactive isotopic scanning of the bone, and geography, etc. What is the differential diagnosis of uh, giant cell tumor? Uh, the same picture may occur in a cyst in the epiphysis called the aneurysmal bone cyst with nearly the same feature or these cysts may appear all over the bone due to generalized disease affecting whole bones of the body as hyperparathyroidism. Um, this common bone tumor should be differentiated from the second common bone tumor, which is osteosarcoma. What is the treatment of uh, giant cell tumor? The bone is important or not? If the bone is not important as upper fibula or lower arm, upper fibula does not enter in the formation of the knee joint and the lower arm does not enter in the formation of the wrist joint. Therefore, the treatment is removal of this unimportant bone, excision with wide safety margin. But if the bone is important bone, important bone according to the size of the tumor and aggressiveness. If it's small and biopsy show non-aggressive giant cell tumor, small non-aggressive, which means benign. Therefore, aggressive curettage with adjuvant therapy during operation. What is the adjuvant therapy during operation or adjuvant measure during operation? But in the defect, phenol or cryotherapy to destroy in the margin any remnants of the tumor cells. After aggressive curettage and phenol or cryotherapy, the defect feels the defect by this. What is this? By graft, bone graft, or bone cement. The main disadvantage of aggressive curettage is what? In this X-ray, there is beginning of appearance of a radiolucent area, as pointed by these arrows. These arrows denote a radiolucent area. What is the radiolucent area in this region? Most probably recurrence. In spite, it is a small tumor. And the non-aggressive recurrence may occur in aggressive curettage and phenol or cryotherapy and feeling the defect with cement or bone graft. If the tumor is large, like this tumor, and biopsy show aggressive tumor, the best treatment for giant cell tumor in general 
is excision with white safety mark. Remove all the dotted area to avoid recurrence. And replacement of this defect by what? By processes. This is the best treatment for giant cell tumor. Actually, it is treated as malignancy because it is large and aggressive. And the mini surgeon now treat all giant cell tumor as malignant to avoid recurrence. And this is excision with wide safety margin and replacement by processes. And mutation. A mutation may be indicated if there is recurrence or evidence of malignancy. We said before that uh, giant cell tumor is radiosensitive. Radiotherapy is inferior to surgery. And radiotherapy is used to reach to inaccessible tumor. What is uh, the site? inaccessible body of vertebrae. Therefore, radiotherapy may be used in giant cell tumor in the vertebrae. Nowadays, and very recent, never forget medical treatment. Medical treatment? What is the medical treatment? First of all, giant cell tumor is osteolytic lesion. Fight this bone destruction by bisphosphonate and vitamin D to inhibit, to inhibit bone resorption and to allow new bone formation, to encourage new bone formation. And it is said that bisphosphonate with vitamin D inhibit the lytic lesion and they inhibit the giant cells which are responsible for this bone destruction. Therefore, bisphosphonate with vitamin D inhibits the giant cells and they inhibit bone destruction and they encourage a new bone formation. Beside, as a medical treatment, denisumab. Denisumab is a human monoclonal antibodies against the tumor cells, destroying the tumor cells, and it is used in unresectable tumor or excision with wide safety margin is not available, and there is fear of removal of residual tumor. Therefore, attack the tumor cells by this antibody, which is denozumab which is human monoclonal antibodies against these cells. This is the treatment of uh, giant cell tumor or osteoclastoma. Thank you for good listening and good luck.